Hey guys, I haven't filmed a video in forever and um, I decided to take advantage of some of the sunshine we're getting in Seattle, which is very rare to even have. So I wanted to do a quick video on my Senegalese twist that I got in Seattle and show the top knot that I do. So um, really it's super simple. Someone saw me post a picture on Instagram and they asked if I would do a video showing how I did it. and. Um, I've had these in for a few weeks now, and I'll may, I may be taking them out this weekend. I may like, leave them in for another week, so I just wanted to shoot this video pretty quickly before I took these bad boys out. Um, again, I went to Tumbuktu African Hair Braiding in Seattle, and um, I'll put a link to the blog review so that you can get all the details um, if you want. But yeah, these are my Senegalese twists. They've been holding up relatively well. Um, the back has been, um, my hair just got a little bit looser in the back. It wasn't necessarily the quality of the twist. It's just my hair. Maybe I pulled it up. I don't know. But um, the front's holding up well, you can see. I've had them in for almost five weeks um, at this point. So yeah, there you go. Let me show you how I do the, the top knot that everyone loves. All you'll need to do this style, a hair tie, um, just regular elastic, and two bobby pins. Um, it's funny because these are the only things you need, but I don't know if you're like me, these are the things that I can never find in my house. Um, bobby pins and hair ties go somewhere with socks and they just disappear. So the first thing I do, I'm going to take these rings off. I've been going crazy with gold rings lately. Excuse me if I'm like all frowned up like this. I'm in the sun and I tried to find a place to shoot the video that wasn't sunny and it just was too dark so you couldn't really see. And I know that some people have asked me if I would take my camera and turn it the other way for videos. And um, I try to do it that way, but because I'm doing like this top knot, you can't see. Like it cuts it off kind of here. So sorry if that's irritating you. Um, trust me, I'm aware of it. I really would hate to say that it's a personal problem. You've just got to take this L this time. On my other videos, I'll make sure I turn the camera. Um, so anyway. When you start off, you're going to start by making a ponytail with like the top half of your hair. So I usually just try to get a good grasp on the top part of my hair and put it into a ponytail. It's not going to be super tight or anything. So once you have the top part secure, I just go in and take the bottom section of hair and pull that up and go to the other side and take that and pull it up. Um, so at this point, all of your hair is secured like this. It's not gonna be super tight. All right, once I have my hair like this, I divide it in half. Um, you don't have to worry about making this super smooth. You can kind of pull up any little random pieces you see and pull them in there more. But from this point, you um, you have like your ponytail. So you're going to divide the hair roughly in two sections. You want them to be relatively even. And again, this is just how I do my top knot. There are tons of ways to do it. So this is, you know, by no means is this the only way it can be done. See how this piece looks a little bit loose? Don't worry too much because when you pull it up, some of that comes up higher. So um, I just, I'm team edges. I just, you want to have edges. Um, I was kind of shocked at the amount of people I've seen in Seattle that don't have edges, um, or I should say who don't have edges. Um, so yeah, whatever you do, keep in mind that you want edges. <laughs> anyway, so you're going to take the one section of hair and you're going to begin braiding it like this. It doesn't have to be a perfect braid, but for the most part, you want to keep all the hair in there. This is decent. So you're going to braid it down to the bottom of the hair. I'm so happy to have sunlight. I'm just like, I oh, need sun. That's why I'm sitting in this window. It feels so good. Then you're going to take the other section. Um, and again, I'm doing this in my camera. So, you know, it's not 100% perfect like how I would do it, um, trying to smooth it out and stuff. But you're going to take this section and you're also going to braid it down to the bottom. See, so like that little piece, I would want to go back in so that it doesn't stick out too bad. 
in there. You see, I kind of got it in. But because you're pulling it up, there's going to be little pieces of hair that stick out at different levels. I hate when my shirt starts to ride up. Um, anyway. <laughs> Continue braiding this one down to the end. And <laughs> you may want to rock out like this. Little, it's a little too um, hood rat for me. But, you know, to each to each their own, to each their own, do what, do what you like. So when you have these two pieces, these two braids, again, you're going to have taken your hair, put it into a ponytail, then you're going to divide it in half and then braid each section. What I do from there, this is where your bobby pins come into play. I take the first section and I wrap it towards the front. I kind of twist it down a little bit just so that the hair um, doesn't, not buckle, but so that it doesn't just have loose pieces coming up. So then you see these little pieces. This would just be an instance where I go in through the hair tie and just pull them in a little tighter. So I take this, wrap it around. It ends here. Fuck. Um, <laughs> that's when I take my bobby pin and then take the piece of hair and kind of just bobby pin it in and then I tuck the little end in there. Then this other piece, some people may think to go around. I don't really, oh, see it just came out that fast. Let me get my bobby pin and put it back in. So I'm bobby pinning in the hair and then taking the rest of it and tucking it in. And then going this way, grabbing this other piece of hair, going around the back and also bobby pinning it in. And I'm bobby pinning maybe this part and it tucking this part because you want to have a, a little bit of something for the bobby pin to grasp onto. So, um, this is by no means perfect, but this is the way that I've been getting a top knot. And um, I like braiding my hair first before I just try to throw it all up there on its own for the simple fact that you are able to have a little bit smoother of a look and you can always angle it back further if you don't want your top knot sitting so far forward you can always kind of push it back um, and then pin it something else I do I don't have a second hair tie on but sometimes I take a second hair tie and put it over the whole thing just to offer an additional um, I guess layer of um, kind of snugness and you know protection so that my style can stay up but yeah guys this is just how I do my top knot um, my back is kind of busted you can kind of see my hair's just got a little fuzzy in the back so <laughs> the struggle is real but yeah guys this is um this is what it looks like I'm trying to get out of the sun so you can see the definition of the twist and how the braids help it to look but yeah everyone this is my top knot i hope you guys have enjoyed if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments and you can follow me on instagram my name is 627 you can also follow me on twitter at 627 um yeah thank you for watching i'll see you guys later bye